Wombo.ai is a new lip sync deepfake technology, and there's a couple things that people are wondering about if it's safe. First of all, will it usher in a new era of deep fake technology? And what happens to my face when I upload it? Is it dangerous? Are they going to sell my data? Let's take a look at what this is and why it matters. Let's go. So to address the, is this new deep fake technology? You have to look at, say, for example, the Tom Cruise deep fake that happened, which is when you take someone else's face, essentially, and then you put it on someone else's face and it looks real. Now, this was made by a video graphics artist guy who never intended to mislead anybody, but it looks really good. Contrast that to Wombo, they're not meaning to try to look extremely realistic and customizable. You get your face and you put it on a predefined list of songs and the creator and his friends made the face motions and you put your image in the app and it morphs you to them. So basically, it's not very customizable. There's only a list of songs. You do your stuff, you put yourself on. As you can see, it's pretty funny. I've been rickrolling myself like this. I can't play the music, it's copyrighted, but you see what I mean. You can tell it's not realistic and real. So in that regard, you are fine and safe there. The thing is, people are worried about their own personal safety. Let's take a look at their privacy policy to see what exactly this means. You know, folks are concerned that if I put my picture on, will they take my data? Will they use my picture? Will they sell my stuff out? Is it okay to use this app? So let's take a look at the policy. Is Wombo.ai safe? According to the app's privacy policy, your facial feature data is only stored on the app to create the video and then deleted immediately after. Data is relayed over to Amazon Web Services for photo animation capabilities and product intelligence for behavioral analytics platform Amplitude. So, you upload your picture, they use it for the thing, it gets deleted, they don't sell your data, they don't keep your picture anywhere creepy or weird or anything just like that. It does pass through a couple other entities to do the stuff that it needs to do, but still yet, overall, it sounds like a pretty safe app when a lot of people are worried about their privacy and safety in the world today, because it's a huge issue. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'm Austin, this is the Austin Analysis, and I'll see you later.